end up as roadkill one of these days. Oh, I guess I should have seen that coming. We can't lose. It's the truth! I saw you, UFO! Huh? A UFO? Understood. It couldn't have been anything else? A seagull, maybe? Or some kind of drone with a lighting rig? You think a drone could carry a full-grown chicken off? Don't patronize me! I saw it! A bona fide cattle mutilation! Cattle what? Please, stick to the facts and not what you've seen in movies. Hello, hello? What's up over here? Oh, it's Karen. You in trouble with the law or something, girl? I didn't do anything. Last night, a UFO came by my window and beamed up my chicken. For a moment, I thought the police might actually help me. Wait, wait, a UFO? No kidding? But cattle mutilation happens to livestock. Isn't what you're describing more like a abduction? If you want to pull sci-fi hoax, do your research. So I got the terms confused. It's not a hoax, it really happened. Doesn't anyone believe me? Officer, please. My little chicken Becky is out there somewhere. A UFO took her and you have to get her back. Um, as far as your chicken goes, ma'am, I suggest you file a report at the station, all right? But the UFO is, how do I put this? Out of my jurisdiction. This can't be happening. None of you believe a word I'm saying? Fine then, I'll take care of this myself. Is she okay, you think? Taking off like that? There's no way it's true, right? This UFO thing? Maybe she saw something in her sleep? Chicken could have just flew the coop too. Yeah, has to be that. She's Lolo. Just crying wolf. Okay.
Leave it to me. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes. Sorry.
Miserable experience. Ah, but nighttime air is refreshing. An old man? Is this some kind of interstellar nursing home? That's not just any old man. That's Professor Okita? Hmm. Oh, Lord Shrub, is that you? Fancy running into each other out here. <sighs> Mr. Kasuga! Do you know this alien geriatric? Uh, well, sort of. He's no alien. And if he's here, then that means... That means this damn thing is Soji Maru! Oh, close. She's not quite the Soji Maru you know. Her name is... Soji Maru Flying Beta Max! Sojimaru Flying Beta Max? Mm hmm Sojimaru's final evolution. The great vacuum cleaner Apotheosis. Till now, no matter her capabilities, Sojimaru was always confined to sucking up trash on cold, unfeeling land. However, the Sojimaru Flying Beta Max is at last free! No more is she shackled to the Earth. Was that really the issue, Doc? Questions like that are the bane of all great visionaries. Think, Lord Shrub. Imagine the possibilities. Soaring majestically through the air, sucking up trash from above. Free from her terrestrial shackles, Sojimaru can cross the sea and suck up trash from every nation on Earth! You see the potential, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. And from such a high vantage point, spotting trash will be easier than ever for her. Picture her, flying through the air, above the seas, sucking up trash. With an army of Sojimaru, we could clean the planet itself! And it all starts right here, with the ultimate vacuum. Sojimaru Flying Betamax! Hmm. There's a lot of promise there, Doc. I guess. I can't help but have a bad feeling, though. Um, excuse me. There's still the matter of my chicken. Your UFO vacuum sucked her up. Hmm? Chicken? Right. This woman's pet chicken got abducted by your vacuum. You think you can get it back to her? Oh, now that you mention it, there was a chicken in there with me that I couldn't explain. Odd, though. According to her latest programming, she shouldn't be sucking up any living beings, much less chickens. Really this time? I made doubly sure. You think my Sojimaru can't tell trash from non-trash? That's no vacuum cleaner, that's a lethal weapon! You'll see. I'll just press this button and give you a demonstration right now! Sojimaru, clean up the trash! Trash. Trash detected. Cleaning mode activated. Huh? Ah! <sighs> Figures. Lord Shrub, help me! So 
Koji Mara's gone crazy. She must think I'm trash. It can't be. Was she listening when I drank myself depressed last night and started crying that the whole world is garbage? You have got to be more careful about passing down these kinds of issues, Doc. Oh, whatever. Just help me. Oh, and to give her more durability, I refitted her chassis with special armor. She's basically a flying tank now. FYI. Why does a vacuum need special armor? M M Mr. Kosaka! Get behind me, Karen. I'll take this thing down and save your chicken and the professor. Oh, thank you. Look out! You got Sojimaru's attention, Lord Shrub! She's coming after you! Damn it! Bring it on, then! I will leave the sky himself sparkling. Watch me. Let's go! Take your best shot. A gift for you. And then you can rest. Take this. Out of the way. I can do this. Shrub! That was incredible! <laughs> Becky! Oh, I'm so glad you're safe! Ooh. Holy shit! What? What happened? Why exactly are all these old men coming out of her now? It seems that she's predisposed toward considering old men to be trash. I wonder why that is. Sheesh. Uh, look, ambition is one thing, Doc. Uh, but in these kinds of tech fields, you really might need some precautions. You know how, like, a really hyped-up video game is super disappointing if it comes out buggy and unpolished? Same kind of thing. It hurts to hear, but I suppose you're right. You've had to save me too many times. Here, at least take this. I owe you two. Thank you so very much. You believed me and got my Becky back. I guess now people won't take you for some delusional sci-fi nerd, huh? <laughs> I sure hope not. Looks like UFOs aren't real after all. Indeed. UFOs, aliens, it's all magical thinking. Next time you spot a UFO, just assume it's a scientific prototype like mine. <laughs> Come on, give me a break already. Ho ho ho! There is no progress without failure, my friends!